Hi guys, my name is Hayley Louise and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I've been sent some more things. So yeah, let's review them. So very graciously, I was sent some free items to review for you guys from a site called rosegal.com. Um, they are a site basically that sell a little bit of everything. I had a nose around there and they sell beauty items. They sell hair, they sell wigs, they sell clothes, they sell lots of homeware and things like that. Um, I concentrated this mostly on the beauty side because that is mostly what you guys like to watch. So I have a few accessories, I have a few tools, and of course I have some clothing. So um, yeah, let's get on with the review of these said items and um, I'll let you know my thoughts as we go along. Also, I was, just to, just as a disclaimer, yes, I was sent this stuff for free, um, but anything I say are my own thoughts and opinions on these things, so let's go. Okay, so first off, I got sent two huge bags. I better not show my address. Uh, alrighty, so first up, if you've been here um, on my channel for a while, you'll already know that I do like myself a wig. Um, and I'm so happy that so many people in the beauty community as well have like jumped onto the bandwagon and yeah, I just love it. I think it's just a really, really great way of expressing yourself without ruining your hair, without frying your hair. Um, and yeah, so without further ado, let me introduce you to my new baby. So this is a lace front wig and it's in this beautiful, it's like, I don't know, what would you call this color? It's coming up a little bit darker on camera than what it is in real life. I suppose it's like a dark strawberry blonde. Maybe it is maybe a slightly ginger, I don't know. This is about shoulder length, really beautiful, just loose curls in the back there. And of course, underneath here, we have the lace front. Um, the lace itself is not like the greatest lace. It's a little bit scratchy little bit itchy but overall the wig itself is really really nice quality there's a lot of hair here the parting on top like it's it's pretty thick it's not um there's no lumps or bumps in it that shouldn't really be there and um you can kind of part it any way you want i quite like chucking it over like to one side so it's more like messy but you can really just wear this wig however you would like. Um, cap sizes, I'm not sure. I think this is just one that comes fitted as standard. I've got a pretty big head, so I am weary of um, wigs sometimes being a little bit too small for me. But this has the adjustable straps on the back there as well. And yeah, overall, really, really nice quality wig. Before I forget, I will leave any links to any products down in the description box below. So if you do see anything you fancy along the way, feel free to have a nose. Okay, so the next thing, I'm not gonna be able to show it on camera, but I will show it in a close-up, is this beautiful dress. And this is a off-the-shoulder, like, Bardot dress, um, which I didn't realize at the time. I thought it was came, like, completely across the shoulder, but it's kind of like um, stretchy material up the top here. And then the arms are, like, sewn on separately with little elasticated tops. And um, I love this dress. It's really, really nice. I've worn it a few times now. The front, if you can see that, it kind of like curves up, curves up over your boobage, um, which I, I do quite like. And then it goes down into this beautiful navy blue floral print at the bottom. One thing I will say about this dress is that it has a split in the front. It's kind of like a tiered drop. Um, and this is the waist, so this is where it would come up. and. <laughs> It's, it's completely sort of open. Um, that's absolutely fine, unless you live in a very, very windy area, you'll be okay. Um, but I have teamed this up with like a little pair of shorts underneath or hot pants. Uh, or even if you are that nervous about the wind blowing up and things being on show, then um, you could always just put a little stitch in it, but it's fine. The quality is great, it's not see-through. And yeah, I really, really like it. Okay, next up is a scarf. I do love me scarves as well. For just chucking over things and tying around your hair, all sorts. And I picked up this beautiful hand-painted scarf. So it's in this cream color with this, I'll double it over so you can kind of see a little better because it's a little bit see-through. Um, with this beautiful like yellow and peachy pink kind of design on the bottom. 
and I just thought it's a really really beautiful beautiful scarf this would be really nice to just chuck over your handbag um, and yeah absolutely gorgeous gorgeous print on that one the next thing I got was an over the shoulder off the shoulder top um, and it is this one here so this one says I just want to drink wine save animals and take naps which is completely and utterly true but not the drinking wine part so much maybe a rosé cheeky rosé every now and again but this is in this lovely mar grey material long sleeves with a cuff at the bottom there and then it's just cut like just a rough a rough cut at the top around the top bit um there are a few little frays on it but i mean i think that just adds character sometimes um but yeah it's great the only thing is is it's not very off the shoulder um the gap at the top is um it's wide but it's not quite wide enough to go like off the shoulder um but that's absolutely fine i really really like this it's just plain simple comes down long enough uh, i think i did pick this up in an xl um and i am a uk size 10 um at the time of this video being created so do that on sizing um i would definitely take a size up than what you think you need if not two in um tops like this and you'd be good to go really but yeah i really really like that one as well next up is an embroidered top and this was really quite cute um it is this black and cream design at the bottom and it's got these like frilly beautiful little tassels this again i picked up i think in a large or an xl and it was a bit too big on me which is fine i mean i could always wear it like boho style with the bigger arms and tuck it into something but I don't want to miss out on that beautiful that beautiful fraying at the bottom but hopefully um my sister may be very interested in this but I will try it on for you at like blah, 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 blah. they're on the screen somewhere but um yeah really really do like the design um it's like a very very thin sort of cottony material and yeah just really just a nice summer top next up is another dress um this is a navy blue and cream stripy dress but this would be really really great for that kind of autumn going on to winter but still a bit warm kind of weather so it's got the long arms here it is a scoop neck and then it goes all the way down and then at the bottom you have these tassels which i thought were just really really fun um this is a little bit longer it comes down a little longer on me than what i thought it did on the website it kind of like came to around the knee on the model um and for me it's a little bit longer than that um but that's absolutely fine i just thought that would be really really nice either to chuck on with um little ankle boots or knee high boots um as it gets more towards winter and yeah really really like that this is also very very soft um, and not see-through at all which is great i then have a jumper this jumper is absolutely adorable i have to say so it's in this baby pink at the bottom there is a little bit of lace detailing this is actually a really really thick jumper material and inside it's like fleeced at the top there again this was in xl and this is the design on the front how adorable is that I thought that was another one that was just really really cute for fall or that even could pass as a christmas jumper i feel like a non-traditional christmas jumper because of the little deer but i love all the little pom-poms and the embellishment there at the front it's just just a really really cute jumper um when i did get it there were a few like lumps of glue and things stuck around um, there still is a few little bits just on there. I don't know if you can see. There are a few little bits of glue, um, but to be quite honest, if you just get get a little pair of scissors and snip those off, they're not too bad at all. It's great quality, looks really, really nice on, just looks really, really comfy, and um, yeah, really, really like that. So let's move on to accessories. So accessories wise, um, I went a little bit cray cray with the chokers and um yeah so let's start off with the one that i have on so this one is a double layered choker so you have like a little velvet 
black choker at the top and then like a little plasticky kind of band and a little triangle and I just thought that was that was really really cute. I'm not going to show all of them right now, I'll show them all in close up because I think I got about 12 all together um, but I'll just pull out a few that I like the look of so obviously there is like a thicker black choker there which is just just like faux velvet. These all do up with the clasps at the back, just the little clasps. There are a few that have a few little like frays and stuff like that on it but um, other than that absolutely fine. I can sort that out with some scissors. They're just like they're just cool. I think chokers just if you don't really want to wear that much jewellery then to just chuck a choker on it just 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 like chokers. I don't know why I'm trying to make excuses. So we have this one as well, which is like a little three-tiered black one. Um, yeah, just really pretty, easy to wear um, little chokers, one with yin and yang on. I thought that was really cute as well. And obviously then you'll be seeing a few more on the screen at the same time as I'm talking. Then I also tried um, to get their little nail appliques or little nail gems. Thought these were really, really cute. You get 10, oh no, 12. You get 12 different colors in here. I'm not sure how many gems are in here all together, but they're all different colors. I will do a little close up on these as well. And I thought, you know what? It's approaching fall, it's approaching Halloween time. And um, I just thought, you know what? It's time to go crazy with the makeup. So I bought these more for wearing on my face than I did on my nails. But I am going to try a few of them on my nails and just incorporate them into makeup and stuff like that. So I just thought that was really, really a great little deal for these. Super duper cheap as well. Okay, so next up we have this little three-tiered necklace here. I just thought this was so, so pretty, so easy to wear. It has like this turquoise, mm, this turquoise like stones in it and then you have a little feather and a little pendant up top. Like I just think it's just so pretty and very boho, which is obviously like a, a style that I like because otherwise I wouldn't have picked it up. But um yeah really really lovely i will say with that one as well though you need to hang it up because i just like struggled like anything to try and untangle it um and i only put it down for like a second so that's one thing to watch okay next is this beautiful little hair clip now i did think this was bigger on the website it does look like it goes across the whole of the head but it's still really really pretty like if you were to have a bun or especially for like wedding or bridesmaids hair to like just put it in like look how pretty that looks just in the side um, or in the back of your hair um, it's really really beautiful just like little pearls it looks like little vines um, but yeah really liked that I'll be getting some use out of that oh imagine that like on your face like as a mermaid Ooh. then I did buy some eyelash appliers is it an eyelash applier I don't really know what it is to be honest but it's a tool that you use to put your eyelashes on with and it looks a little bit like this stainless steel like some sort of like medical equipment um but basically like you you squeeze your eyelashes in there and then apply them um i did a try doing that today which is the lashes that i have on which i'll be talking about next um but yeah uh i didn't get on with these very well i feel like you have to really squeeze them together to be able to apply your lashes because otherwise they're falling out um but that may not be down to this necessarily i'm not that great at applying false lashes um and i found something a little bit easier than these but i really want to try these out and um yeah they work they work for the most part and they're really good for like squeezing your lashes together afterwards without taking your eye out because they do have that curled end on them um which is great but yeah a little interesting tool i've given it a go um i may try it a few more times and see if i get on with it but I, I don't know about that one um yeah i don't know now next up like i said is the lashes that i have on can you tell that i'm wearing false lashes yes you can because they're starting to come off um so these are the false lashes they are kind of like they wing out to the corner there which i do love i love this little bit here that they kind of like wing out a little bit quite nice uh, I do find that they're a little bit um, like this 
section here seems really thick compared to this side. They just came in their own little plastic applicator box, which um, is really great. Was a little bit of sellotape on, fine. Um, the lashes themselves, they're really, really great for beginners because they have that really thin band on. So if you just wanna try out a pair of lashes um, that are quite pretty, they are um, like flutter lashes, I think they're called. So they're quite pretty. Um, they do like sort of elongate out towards the end, which is a look that I really, really like. Um, but I didn't put on very heavy eye makeup today so that you guys could kind of like see what they look like on in action um if you are better at full size lashes than what i am uh you may they may you may even get a better result than this but yeah i'm i'm pretty happy with them to be honest um it's just my own kind of you know technique that needs improving i love me some sunglasses and it is coming to the end sadly of um, sunglasses season but couldn't resist this pair here so this is um gold trim aviators and they fade like gradient from pink to blue and i just thought i look really really cool with these i'm not sure what the reality of the situation is um but yeah i actually really really like these glasses they are a little thin um i would definitely put these if i were to be carrying them in my handbag i would definitely put these in um, like a hard case versus a soft case i feel like they're ever so slightly flimsy but um for fashion purposes for instagram purposes these look gorgeous like look at the gradient oh Okay, so down to the last couple of items. I got this bracelet, which is a really, really lovely bracelet. It is in this like red faux leather with these little designs on. So it's got the infinity sign at the top there. And then it has like a tree of life and some little doves, which I thought was really, really cute. But yeah, I just thought that was just another really cool, little bracelet to just throw on. There was a bracelet that has come with this, but it has uh, previously fell apart, which is very, very sad. Um, and it came with these rings. You get five rings and a bracelet as well in the same set, which is great. And these are some of the rings here. Obviously, I will do a close up of them as well. They didn't have any sizing on them. Um, so, I just sort of went, oh, they look all right. I think some of them I can use, they are a little bit small. My fingers are like, I do have quite small, like thin fingers. Um, so it is hard to find rings sometimes. But yeah, some of these um, will fit fine as rings. Others could, will be okay like as finger rings. Like I really, really like that one. I think that one's pretty cool. Okay, so that was it for my review of rosegirl.com. I know that they have had mixed reviews. I didn't want to look at it too much um, because I wanted to judge the site for themselves. Um, the site itself is laid out really well. Um, it all has little items and little categories for you to look at. The items that I received, um, like I said, other than the few things that I've said about them, they're all pretty great. They all stand up to what they looked like on the site versus what they look like in real life. I would say probably watch the sizing, just really, really look at the measurement charts um, and know your measurements as well. And then, then add on a few inches. So yeah, depending on that guys, they're okay. That was it for my review of rosegirl.com. Thank you so much for watching if you have made it this far to the end. Down in the description box below, I am going to leave all of the links to all of the items mentioned in this haul today. So if you do want to pick any up, feel free to either have a nose on the site and find some goodies for yourself, or just if you want direct links to the products, I will leave them in the description box down below, as well as an affiliate link Oh yes, oh yes. Down in the description box below will be a little affiliate link for you to use at checkout if you do happen to purchase anything and it will give you 10 to 15% off of your whole purchase, which is great. Any way you can save a little bit of money I think is absolutely fab. The prices on the website, not too bad, not too bad at all. Um, yeah, I think I might shop there again, you never know. Subscribe if you feel like it, and uh, yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what your favorite item was down in the comment section below, and yes, I shall see you guys very soon with another video.